Welcome everybody back to the channel. In this video, we hop inside game with a weapon that a lot of people have not really used lately, but with mags of holding makes it basically unlimited ammo and is the best thing you can use right now to get schematics and all the rare items. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and enjoy. Thanks to Damn Odds for sponsoring this video. They are an awesome Call of Duty service company. They go in, unlock all the camos for you, all the zombie schematics. They have a ton of pre-made accounts. They also give you the opportunity to go into bot lobbies to unlock a ton of stuff yourself. They have a ton of services for all types of games out there. Their Trustpilot reviews are awesome. Every single one of them is a great review, and I can tell you guys what, this is probably the best company out there for services. Make sure you guys use code SPAZO to save money off. All right, so this is a quite interesting thing we are about to do today we're using the rgl which is a grenade launcher that has been pretty good in mwz for a long time it has kind of been used as something to stun zombies you know kill them and just kind of save your butt when you need it most but when they implemented the mags of holding acquisition and schematic and you combine it with this it makes it freaking crazy so today we brought in a ton of good items which we're going to go ahead and throw this on right now throw on the mags of holding the blood burner key which we can go ahead and equip right now we can get on it just to get out of that field of view and then go ahead and equip our perks but as you guys can see we don't have it packed but we have six or we do have it packed never mind i don't know why i said that but we have it packed and we have 65 uh rockets to shoot without reloading right that is insane the thing about the RGL is you, I don't know exact number of how many you have, but 66 is insane. The fact that you have so much opportunity to pick up ammo pouches to refill your ammo in any area of MWZ makes it basically like you have unlimited grenades or launchers. It's actually insane so i'm excited to test this out in the tier 3 zone and i'm excited to go to the dark ether and test this out but one thing is we don't have an ether tool so the chances of us getting an epic ether tool are not low they are pretty decent high so we will see you know when we can get one and how often we can get one if we can get one we might even be able to pull a legendary but we are going to be triple packing this gun which will be nice as well it'll do a little bit more damage and stuff like that and whatnot so we are going to see we're going to try and make our way to this cargo contract right now over here i don't know if we'll be able to get to it but you never know we might be able to it definitely is a big problem right now in mwz that guy's gonna grab it i'll see if we can join up with him but um it definitely is a big problem right now in mwz the whole contract thing and not being able to grab contracts because everybody's rushing for him just the amount of people in the zone can sometimes be a little infuriating or make you a little bit angry if you ask me um because it sucks you know chasing around contracts just for simply nothing right but we'll see we're going to go ahead and do this cargo. Uh, we joined their squad, which is nice. It looks like everybody in the game is going to be fighting the Red Worm as well. Let's go ahead and just hop up on here. Hopefully we can get an Ether tool from this. We need to buy PHD as well. We need to make that a number one priority after we finish this contract. But... Either way, if you don't have an ether tool, this weapon still works as a stun. You shoot a zombie and they fall to the ground and you have a few seconds to kind of recoup what just happened. So no matter if you can spawn in with just one pack, you do have to have it packed for it to explode on impact, um, which it can be pack one, pack two, pack three, it really doesn't matter. But you do have to have it packed for it to explode on impact. If not, it's just going to kind of roll around or you might be able to get lucky enough for it to hit. But... No matter what, it's always going to stun these zombies, which just makes it so much better, if you ask me. Okay. Let's go get another contract started. They got a Mega Abomination. This team looks like they are flowing good, man. They're probably... I'm not going to be able to personally go take that Mega Abomination down. Um, because I... The RGL is not necessarily good for bosses. It, it's not the best thing you can use when it comes to killing, you know, enemies. Bosses, for sure. Um... It is great for zombies, but it is just not the best for bosses. So when we do go to the Dark Ether, we're going to need to buy a Jug Suit. But that's not a biggie, man. Two contracts, pretty easy to get 10k. Or we could possibly find one. So I'm definitely not too, too worried. Is my teammate down? Oh, he's self rest Okay. We're going to make our way over to this perk machine over here. Because I do want to get PhD. That is one thing you need with this is PhD. If you forget PhD, you have a very high chance of killing yourself with the weapon. Be just because of the... Uh, explosion that happens every time you shoot that mega abominations right over there 
My team's just kind of hanging out, chilling. Let me go ahead and get PhD Flopper right down here. That is all we need. We don't really need anything else. Now we can just pretty much spam at the ground as much as we want. We need to get an ether tool for sure. What is that guy pinging over there? What is that? What is that? Is that a crate? I have no clue what that is actually. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that before, but who knows? They are fighting the Mega Abomination right now. I'm going to go ahead and get up on this building and see if there's any crates in here. Sometimes you can find an Epic Ether tool just lying around in a crate, which would be super nice if we could come across one like that. But we could probably find one in a contract, so I'm not too, too worried about it. I can try and help you guys out with zombies, but I'm not going to do much damage right now, considering we don't have it. We don't have a tool on it. As you can see, you have so much ammo. You have so much opportunity to just destroy everything. Now, once we get it more packed and stuff, we'll definitely make it, you know, a lot easier on ourselves. And we totally missed that. I was going to help. But it's okay. They have a flamethrower. Make that super easy. There we go. What did they drop? Uh, Deadshot Daiquiri. We don't need that. That's all they dropped. Okay. Rare Ether Tool, we'll go ahead and throw it on. Cluster Mine, we don't need that. Eliminate a Bounties right over here as well. We actually have enough to triple pack now. I'm going to go up here and hit this uh, Tear. We actually can go to Pack-a-Punch too. It's way over there. So we can triple pack this thing, and then we can start worrying a little bit more about our rarity. We have all of our perks, so we don't need to hit the Wonder Fizz. We have all the ones we need, I should say. Are they grabbing that Bounty? Ooh, somebody else grabbed it. Okay. I'll hit this real quick just to help our team out a little bit. Keep the essence kind of flowing in. Go ahead and grab this. There we go. All right. I'm going to head over to pack. Hoping they will go ahead and do that for us. There's a raw Ethereum crystal. We don't need that, but we can throw that on there. Help out a little bit with our weapon. Yeah, unfortunately, we couldn't get a legendary. My schematic is not uh, all the way down, done with cooldown yet, so we do have to wait on that. But trust me, it is not needed to survive with this weapon. All right, to pack we go. Teammates are doing the outlast, so by the time we get done packed, we can head over there. See what our reward is. Well, he's using the RGL too, and I'm almost certain he has mags of holding. I definitely love using the RGO with mags of holding. Like, it's so nice because you don't have to reload. You can just constantly spray. Like, it is super hard to go down with this with mags of holding. 100%. Now we're triple packed in blue rarity, which is nice. We can make our way back over to the Outlast contract now. Double points. Am I going to be able to pull this out of here? I wonder. Maybe if we back it up kind of this way. And then if we drive forward up there, should be able to. Maybe. Come on. There we go. Nice. Okay. Let's head back over to this contract area. There's so many guns in this game that are very, very good with Max of Holding. Um... It, it's such a cool acquisition and schematic because it can make some of the worst guns some of the best. And I'm not saying the RGL is one of the worst guns at all, but it is super... What the heck? It is super cool that they actually added something like this in the game because it, it brings so much more, like, change you can make in-game. You know, you can finally use stuff that wasn't good before. You can use stuff that may be... Ooh, Flawless Ethereum Crystal? I will take it. Our team is picking up contracts rapidly. Super fast. It'd be nice if we get an epic ether tool. Uh, yeah, we don't need any of the other stuff. I actually don't even need this two plate. I don't remember picking that up. I'm sure I did. It's some one of the rewards. Nothing in there. Okay. We'll make our way over to the spore area. I definitely can destroy a lot of these. Keep moving, boys. It's a hellhound over there. I completely missed that. 
Oh, what's up, Harry? Or is his name Happy? Oh, thought it was Harry. <laughs> okay. All right, we have 50 more rock or launchers left. Rocket launchers, whatever you want to call it. Rockets. Spore dead. Spore dead. Go over to this side. Help real quick with this. This one's almost exploded. Spore. Stun these zombies real quick. There we go. Then just one more right there. Nice. Hmm, we don't need any of that. We're just looking for an ether tool right now. We definitely don't need a uh, cluster mine or anything. But somebody must have picked it up. Yes. Go do that outlast. Okay. Yeah, it'll definitely be exciting to go into the dark ether and use this thing. See how well it works with all the zombies in there. I definitely, this was one of my favorite strats to actually get the old schematics and the old Dark Aether just using the RGL. It'd definitely be cool to see how it is in there as well. But unfortunately, we can't do both in one game. Alright. Oh, there's another Mimic. As you can see, you shoot and all the zombies drop like that. So you have time to move or get away or replayed up. And it's such an awesome thing. Now this mimic, like I was saying, it's not the best thing for bosses, you know. You're, but again, you can pretty much get away from bosses a majority of the time, unless you have a bounty, of course. But even at that, you can use something else, or you just don't have to do it. You can just do other contracts. Shoot those zombies down there. Make sure that hellhound don't die. Oh, we got a mangler. Teammate. Oh, we turned him. Almost halfway done with this contract. Not too nasty bad. Yeah, but again, you definitely need PhD, so if you do decide to hop in a game with the RGL with Mags of Holding, make sure you are using PhD Flopper. It's going to save you some troubles, I promise. You don't got to spawn in with it, but just make sure you, it's one of your first perks you do get. There are like no zombies spawning. I think that turret outside is killing them all. All right, there we go. Contract's done. Nice. Uh, epic Ether Tool. Nice. Okay. We have a three plate already. Uh, okay. So, we can go to the buy station. It's right here. We need to purchase ourselves a jug. And then two Casimirs. We can stow the Mortar Strike as well. Uh, we can stow those for right now and re-equip our decoys. I'm doing another spore control. All right. Can we make this jump? Nice. Okay. It's all the way over there. What's in here? Okay, a rare. We don't need that. Yeah, it's definitely better to run with a team now in the uh, Tier 3 zone, especially when you want to complete contracts quick. It is way too hard to run solo if without a Scorcher. Did teammate grab the inhibitors already? Curious? Yes. Okay. I'll just follow right behind him. Okay, we missed that one. What happened? Uh, I don't know if he missed those or what, but 
So I'm in right there. There we go. He did pick up all, or he did pick up six of them, so he has enough to do these. Kind of waiting on teammate to throw his down. Yeah, it's so great that you can just constantly spam these without having to reload and you have so many. and loot this. Uh, we can take the epic ether tool. We'll stash it for right now. Oh. Actually, I think we're ready to go to the dark ether. We've done quite a few contracts already and we don't really need to do anything else. Uh, we need to self revive. Ooh, that's big time. Okay, I'm going to go over to this buy station and pick ourselves up one. I completely forgot we didn't have a self-revive. It's all good. We'll buy one over here. It's not too big of a deal. Yeah, when we do the Outlast contract, it's going to be super efficient. Let's see. Uh, no ammo pouches were dropped there. Okay, we picked some up. I want to see how much ammo pouches do give us with this see how well that is so we have 26 39 one ammo pouch gives what 13 so that's amazing 13 is quite a lot all right let's go grab this buy station or go over to this buy station and get ourselves a revive in case we do go down i doubt we will but you never know I'm actually going to wait so we can buy two. It's just for safe safety measures. I would much rather have extra than not have any at all. And that has saved my life plenty of times. <laughs> that is the truth, man. Wait for them to complete that contract and then we can buy another one and then we can go. Nothing really in this building, I don't think. Do we have extra room? Okay, yes, we do. They're almost there. Oh. Alright. We can buy another one. So, revive, thank you. Okay. So, we need to stow these, re equip this. Drop one, stow it, so that when we spawn in, we have three, which will be super nice. We can drop this C4 as well. I don't know when we'd pick that up, but we did somewhere. Okay, two self-revives. Everything looks good. Let's go do this, man. We're going to hop in this Elder real quick, um, and we're going to see how good the RGL can be in the new Dark Aether. Yep, I am sorry, boys. I did not mean to spawn everybody in, but we did. Oh, unfortunately, he's going to grab that bounty. Yep, that was a mistake on my part. I meant to uh, literally just leave their squad, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. We'll definitely be testing out on this Outlast contract, because as you guys know, there is a lot of zombies in there. But look at all these zombies, right? So say all of them are here. They're all chasing us. We can just spam with the RGL and never stop spamming. And it'll stun all these zombies. And you can spam, speed cola, play it up, spam, speed cola, play it up, and just keep doing it. And you pick up so much, you never run out of ammo. 
Now when you have it legendary, it does more damage, you kill the zombies faster, so it's going to be better, but you don't need it. It stuns them no matter what, even if you just have it pack one with mags of holding. Now remember, if you equip mags of holding, it is working both for your primary and secondary. It's not just one gun. So you can just constantly do this and survive anywhere. You know, doing any contract, any Outlast contract, weapon safe, whatever you plan on doing in MWZ, it's so freaking strong and it's such an amazing thing. And not many people actually like use the RGL right now with Mags of Holding. Chuck that. Didn't buy it for no reason. Oh, they are frying him. I don't even need to use this jug. He's dead. Well, that was cool. <laughs> I'll take this epic ether tool. I got you, boys. Don't worry. Everybody good? And we lost three bullets in total there. Teammates in there. We good. Go we'll grab that Outlast contract. I think one of our teammates has a Scorcher, no? Maybe not. It's alright. Not a big deal. But yeah, when it comes to like trying to get rare items and trying to stack up as quickly as possible and maybe using something that makes it quicker instead of killing all the zombies, you definitely can use this, man. And I, I, I like to call this the beginner special. Right, because say you just started playing the game, you pretty much use this and you're going to be able to do almost anything in the game. Now, obviously, you're not going to be able to fight the Red Worm or nothing crazy like that, but zombies, you're not going to have any problems. You know, you will be a great support for your teammates. It's awesome, man. I, I do love it for sure. All right, let's hop in this Outlast. Get this going. I feel so bad I pulled my whole team in here because I know they didn't want to come. But hey, they get rare items too. We're still spamming. Haven't ran out of ammo yet. This is crazy, dude. Oh my gosh. We're practically gaining ammo at that point. just makes everything so much easier and then if you like say you're in there that's all you do is just spam it at the ground like in one certain area you just continuously shoot and you're gonna kill zombies and you're gonna be able to continuously pick up ammo and just keep doing that same thing for the whole entire contract Legendary ether tool. We'll take that another dog bone. I'll take it for the mortar. Actually, we can equip that mortar. All right, let's go do this other contract, or the last one. I've definitely got some good gear this game. We'll say that, man. We got Flawless Crystal, Legendary Ether Tool, Refined Ethereum Crystal, Dog Bone, Other Dog Bone. We got some good stuff, man. It's definitely not a bad game so far. I will tell you this, though. We haven't gotten a schematic yet, which I don't need it. But we are in the Elder, so you would only expect a schematic. But they're not RNG-based, which is something I really liked about this new one. It's not guaranteed. You can't guarantee it on your first run. Which is nice because it would just be it would have just became boring way too quick if you could just come in here on your first run and get everything just like the last one. Definitely would have been super boring at that point. Well, 
Boys, just head for the extractors, man. I got this contract. You guys don't gotta follow me. Oh, good. We'll fly through this easy. We still got one more contract to go, boys. We ain't done yet. This is easy. Probably the easiest one of them all, I think. Especially when you have Casimirs, man. It just makes it so much easier. There we go. Stun all the zombies. I am on like one HP. Grab that. This one. There we go. Throw a Casimir. Do this last one. The heck? Nice. And a VR 11 case. Okay. Not a bad game, man. Definitely thanks to the RGL, we freaking barely took much damage. You know, we did almost go down a few times, but not bad. Not bad for an epic gun with basically unlimited ammo. All right, we are heading to Xville. Yeah, we got some good gear this game, man. Legendary Ether Tool, Flawless Ethereum Crystal, Refined Ethereum Crystal, Dog Bone, Dog Bone, BR-11 Case, Epic Ether Tool. It was a W game, I think, in my eyes. Just keep stunning all these guys to help my team out. I'm almost out of ammo though, because I haven't picked up any. And out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Have a good one. Peace.